On Wednesday, April 19th and Thursday, April 20th, MDC will continue its State of the South series, True South Central Appalachia at Berea College. The series assembles uh, policymakers, academics, economic developers, artists, nonprofit leaders, and community for candid conversations on the past, present, and future of Appalachia. Joining me today with all of the details is MDC's president, John Simpkins. Thank you so much for joining us, John. Thank you for having me, Lisa. It's a pleasure. Now tell me a bit about MDC's work and its State of the South program. Sure. We are a 56-year-old anti-poverty organization. We began in North Carolina. And at the time, we stretched from the, the eastern coast to the western Appalachian Mountains uh, in North Carolina. And we now serve 13 states across the southeast. Kentucky is one of those states. And uh, periodically, we've released a report called State of the South, which really looks at economic and demographic changes across the region, sometimes narrowing in on a particular area. What we've decided to do is to expand that focus and not just release a report, but go into community and create what we call a, a qualitative uh, research project where we can go in and talk with people in the community and understand what their issues are. And it's resulted in uh, the State of the South convening. And this will be the third in Berea with our partners at Berea College, focusing on Central Appalachia uh, and Berea itself. We gotcha. can think of a better place to be to do this work. Interesting. So who will be participating in True South Central Appalachia? Everybody, really, to be to be honest. We want we want the the audience for these events to be anyone who's interested in economic mobility in their community, who's essentially interested in having people uh, be able to live lives of real possibility where they can they can work hard and move up the economic ladder uh, no matter where they are, that they don't have to move to get better jobs, that they can be where they are, grow their communities and, and create vibrant communities where, right where they are. Why is it important to bring the State of the South series to Kentucky and Central Appalachia? Because we think that uh, a thriving South is a South in, in which every part of it uh, carries with it the opportunity for people to live uh, a life of meaning, a life of dignity through work that gives them a chance to earn a, a wage that's going to not only support them, but support their families and build generational wealth. Appalachia is one of the places that, that we focus on in our urban and rural work. Uh, and so we want to make sure that we have a presence there and that we continue to build our, our partnerships in the region. And can you share with me some of the highlights of the event? Absolutely. One of the things, as, as, as you focused on earlier, one of the things that we want to ensure that we do in having these conversations is not just have a, a dry recitation of data. Uh, we don't want to put people asleep. We want to make sure that we give them facts that they can use, but we also want to reach them in ways that they might not typically uh, uh, expect in in a gathering like this. So we have arts. We we focus on food. Uh, Frank X. Walker, Kentucky's uh, first African American poet laureate, will be on our program. Uh, we'll be joined by a group called Cornbread and Tortillas, which is a collective of Appalachian and Latino artists whose mission is really to build community by sharing art, music, dance, and cultural heritage. All of this to show what the place is, what it can be, and what its assets already are that it can build upon. Now, how can people learn more about the event and attend? Visit us on the web at www.stateofthesouth.org.org. Wonderful. John, thank you so much for being with us today. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Take care.